What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel and we are here for episode 10 of our Madden 21 Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode with the most anticipated divisional playoff game in recent Madden history. The 6-9-1 Philadelphia Eagles against the 11-5 Seattle Seahawks. Except right now, as a diehard Philadelphia Eagle fan, I honestly could not tell you. Honestly, my life depended on it. The last time Philadelphia beat Seattle. I don't know. Like, I feel like we've never beaten them since Russell Wilson's been there. It might have been, like, like I, I couldn't. Matt Hasselbeck era could have been, like, the last time we beat Seattle. So, this is a big game. This is honestly a big game. When you look at it, we have a whole lot of momentum. Go Even going all the way back to Week 17, we were second place in the division behind Washington. We're able to beat Washington on the backs of over 200 all-purpose yards from Miles Sanders to diving interceptions from Darius Slay. And then we went in it to the playoffs. And in the wild card round, as the four seed, we're taking on Arizona. And if you've seen any of my content, regardless of it's Philadelphia or any other team, when I've gone up against Arizona, Kyler Murray has pushed my shit in every single time. I cannot contain him. And while he didn't have a bad game by any means... We had, in my biased opinion, the greatest breakout game that I've ever seen on YouTube for a player in Davion Taylor. The thing that made it so special, first of all, is Davion Taylor primarily played special teams all year. And then, like, I talked about in the first quarter, because we had Jalen Mills and we had Kavon Wallace, the rookie out of Clemson, as our sub linebackers. And we went with those guys because they had speed, sideline to sideline speed, so that we could always have a spy on Kyler Murray. And it wasn't really working with Jalen Mills. Not... You know, even though he's a safety, he's still not athletically gifted. So I made the decision, second round, maybe Davion Taylor. This could be the first time this third round project linebacker from the 2020 draft could be viable. And we made the switch, and he ended up getting eight tackles, four sacks. One of those sacks was a forced fumble. The third, that was the third sack, I believe, was a forced fumble. The fourth and final sack was a game-ending sack. Sack on Kyler Murray, clock ran out. And honestly, like, I, I, I was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I did not expect we would have a folk hero made here in this franchise. And just like that, Davion Taylor, who's now going to be our starting right outside linebacker, he has a chance to become a channel legend. He has a chance to get right on that list, that same list that has P.L. Mullins, that same list that has, dare I say it, Tom Savage. So, I mean, those are very lofty expectations for Davion Taylor. But if last game was a sign of things to come, he is very good spying quarterbacks. And we're going to need it this week. Russell Wilson can hurt you on the ground. So we need to do our due diligence there. Looking at the injuries, we got a lot of reinforcements. Zach Ertz got activated off IR this week. Deshaun Jackson got activated off IR this week. So that should help out our offense and Carson Wentz. I did take a gander at the end of the last episode just to see if Seattle was missing anybody. You know, it'd be nice if, you know, DK Metcalf had a stinger or, or you know, uh, Bobby Wagner had some turf toe going on. But they look to be pretty much a full strength squad. So it's going to be, you know, the better team at the end of the day. Whatever team wants it. And, you know, history has a strange way of repeating itself. This time last year in real life, the most overrated defensive player in the NFL, Jadavion Clowney, with a very dirty hit on Carson Wentz, ended the Eagles' playoff dreams. Get a chance at revenge here to continue this Cinderella story. Let's go, man. 6-9-1 Eagles, 11-5 Seahawks, NFC Divisional Round, NFC Championship game on the line. Let's get into it. The legend. The legend, Davion Taylor. Let's go. That's all. I got my new user. I thought for sure I'd, I'd like would never get off Fletcher Cox. Oh, that's a huge hit from Rodney McLeod on DK Metcalf. They'll force the incompletion. But I always thought, 
I'm Philly. I'm Fletcher Cox at D-Tackle every time, but I really just want to be Davion Taylor this game. So I think I'm going to be Davion Taylor this game. Let's go back to it. Middle of the field, he's on. I don't know who that is. Chris Carson out the backfield. Oh, no. Uh, David. No. No. Like, I almost, I'm almost going to get to a point. It might not be this offseason. It might not be next offseason. But I... I will be shocked, spoiler alert, I will be shocked if I don't eventually find a way to get DK Metcalf on the Eagles. To make that dream that should have been a reality come true. That was a pretty glitchy looking pass from Russell Wilson, if I'm being honest with you. That looked, mm, don't want to complain, but just the trajectory of that ball looked pretty scripted to me. All right, we got Zach Ertz back. They can go 75 yards in one play. I think we can as well. We got our own playmakers. Travis Fulham. It's not 75 yards, but it's 21, and we'll take it because we're not nearly as explosive an offense, at least passing the ball. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Miles Sanders showing some juice. 15 yards. Oh, screen pass. Got Kelsey in front. Ah. Jamal Adams, oh, I gotta remember, they got Jamal Adams and Bobby Wagner. We gotta keep an eye on those X-Factors, because there could be some fumble shenanigans happening. That's a huge gainer, man. Explosive place. Both sides of the field. And no matter what way you cut it, this is a definitely a revenge game for Carson Wentz. Def you know, competitor that he is, leaving the way they did last year in the playoffs. I think uh, Carson Wentz don't need actually an extra motivation when, you know, you're in the playoffs, but there's definitely something there. Roll Carson Wentz. Dick Rod with bad blocking. And Corey Clement getting a snap, getting a rep in. I don't know about that one. All right, third and goal. Flanker dig. We got Zach Ertz back. If Bobby Wagner doesn't drop back, that's a read. If not, I don't know. Miles Sanders at the backfield. Rager. I don't want to slash cheese, but I really do feel like if Ertz is covered, that means Rager will be open. Go, Zuckerts! Reactivated off IR. And while he may have had a little bit of a regression this year, he's now, what, an 84 overall, which is kind of ridiculous. Remind him. Remind him that 86 is the best tight end in franchise history. That's a dime. That is a dime from Carson Wentz. Come on, man. Make some tackles. Someone else not named Davion Taylor make a play. It's going to be a tough task for the defense. Remember, we fired Jim Swartz, so we got like an interim DC. First and 10 on our 10. Defense is not coming to play. I feel like we're going to, we need a turnover or something. We got Greg Olson. Oh my God. Slants cheese to Tyler Lockett. Darius Slay got to make a play there. Darius Slay needs to... If we're not putting Darius Slay and shadowing him against DK Metcalf, if he's just on Lockett, Darius Slay has to win that. You can't... That was too friggin' easy. Yeah, at least, at least, their defense doesn't look any better than ours. That's the only silver lining so far in the first quarter here. Second and eight. This could be Deshaun Jackson territory. It is Deshaun Jackson territory first down. I haven't run a slants yet. It's good. It's good to keep them on their toes. We remember how Tyler Lockett scored his touchdown. Jacked up! Careful, Bobby Wagner. The fumble waiting to happen. Nine yard gain. Boston Scott here, second eight. Still want to keep the run. Their run defense has been fairly soft. Gain of three makes it third short. Third and five. Zach Ertz, probably where we want to go. Even though that is Bobby Wagner, Jamal Adams territory. Maybe Rager. Or maybe Wentz does it himself. Beautiful. No. Oh, he made the catch. Oh, he dropped it. Thought that could have been a pick anyways. God, now, now we're like, ah, now we really don't want to throw it. I pretty much have to throw it. Throw it on first down. You pretty much have to throw it on the next couple plays. Oh, Jalen Rager. Ties it up. Awesome. Excellent response from the offense. Ties us up 14 a piece. Wentz is on fire. Two touchdowns. Going blow for blow with Russell Wilson. 
drop. Killing me, Kevon Wallace. All right, we kick open the second quarter, third and two. No, no. Blow him up. Blow him up. Was that was actually a very lackadaisical tackle? See, like that. I hate that. Javon Hargraves does everything you need to. Destroys the guard. That's what Russell Wilson does. That's why he's, you know, top three quarterback in the NFL. Tier of his own with Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. Get through the garbage. Fletcher Cox get the tackle. I think he got the first down. Oh, it's third and inches. Yeah, let's be aggressive here. Blitz. TFL, come on, TFL. Hold no field goal. Get off it. Oh, let's go, Fletcher Cox. TFL. Pretty sure they'll go for it. It's all mad, but maybe not. It's not always a for sure thing. Yeah, they're kicking it. First down to 25. Oh, we'll just go full him. We'll just go full him there. A little bit of a slant. Oh, my God. Their run defense is not. I think he was down. He better have been down. He looked like he was down, right? Dang, I, I, he had to be down. Overturned. There we go. There we go. A little bit worried, but... Looked pretty, pretty convincing that he was, he, it came when he was down. So that's good. Be a little careful, Miles, because, you know, fumbling with like, pretty much under your own power when they have Jamal Adams and Bobby Wagner. That does not uh, bode well for late in this game when they may be in their X Factors here. Second and five on the 40. That is just very bad run defense, man. We're going to stick with it. Even though Wentz is playing very well, they're going to keep giving me. You know, soft, light boxes like that. We're going to smash them. We're going to smash them boxes. God. This is not good. No. 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 I was covered sack. And rather than throw it up there, we'll eat this down. Daryl Taylor. Rookie out of Tennessee. That was a solid draft pick for them. Third and a mile. Let's just play smart. If something gets open deep, we'll take it. But... For the most part here, a field goal is, yeah, we'll tie it. We'll tie it. Let's kick it. Oh, that's a perfect kick. Jake Elliott right down the middle. Ties this one up at 17. Okay. Force an errant pass. Like the pressure got there. We'll go cover one. Suppose. I want Fletcher Cox. The computer to control Fletcher Cox because they're making plays in the inside. They don't need me clogging that up. There we go. Hell of a pass breakup. Darius Slay on Greg Olson. And we force the punt. Finally. A little bit of defense in this game. Why not? Oh. <laughs> oh, it was close. Give him something to think about later on in the game. We'll return to that. Like, that's 100% the kind of play call you make when you get a stop on defense. Probably shouldn't have. We probably should just stick with running the ball. But third and seven, it's not over. We can keep this drive alive. Sean Jackson in motion. Oh, that looks good. We'll go to Mr. Deshaun Jackson who moves the chains. You got to remember, man, this Seattle Seahawks defense for like most of the 2020 season was historically an all-time bad defense. So as long as we can do our job on the defensive side of the ball, on our defensive side of the ball, we should be able to move it. Peace. Look at that first down. Good blocking. My Lotta moves the chains. Miles Sanders getting closer to the 100 yards in the first half. Boston Scott subs in. Just keep it rolling. I think we got the win with us. So, oh. Go. We go, Boston Scott. 12-yard gain. Second and seven in field goal range. Need to be smart with the football here. Oh, my God. Zach Ertz is good. Zach Ertz is very good. Even though he might not be here next year. First and goal probably should not be throwing this. But we are. 
That looks good. That looks good. Carson Wentz, do it yourself. And there's a lead, man. Defense, get the stop. Let's go into halftime up 24 17. That's excellent, man. Wentz, third touchdown of the game. No turnovers. Playing the best football of the season by a mile here in this playoffs. Come on, man, with the slant bullshit. First and 10. We're going to bring Rodney McLeod here on the blitz. Works, man. Put him under pressure. Doesn't like that. Russell Wilson does not like being uncomfortable. Oh, they're in field goal range. Fuck. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, man? All right, they didn't call a timeout because Madden sucks. Doesn't matter what what difficulty you're playing on, the AI in Madden is doo doo butt cheeks. Second half, 24-24. Get back running with Miles Sanders. Got a little pass happy there at the end, and when we deviate from the plan, that's when mistakes happen. Oh, fuck! I lied to Sean Jackson. Did a little bit better of a run block there. That might have been taken to the house. Still a great yard, yard total here. It's huge, huge yard total for Miles Sanders up to the fifty. Let me take it by surprise here. Make it a shorter third down by running it, or we'll just get a first down. Like when you're getting like five yards of carry, might not make for the most exciting gameplay, but I want to win. I want to win very badly. Boston Scott, maybe get lost behind the line of scrimmage, makes it that much more difficult to tackle him. There we go, first down. Second and eight, keep it on the ground. Like this is just free candy. It's free candy, and we're gonna get diabetes. If they keep offering it like this. Now it's a house on Halloween that just leaves the bucket of candy out. You know you're not just gonna take one and move on. You're, you're dumping that whole thing into your sleep, into your goddamn pillowcase. That's what we're doing. That was good. Finally, finally they commit to stop the run. Hey, Jalen Rager, this is your big play. You want to you wanna justify that first round pick? This is you. Your moment to shine, Jalen Rager. Oh, it's actually a beautiful play by Carson Wentz. That is prime Carson Wentz. Making something out of nothing there. Hitting Deshaun Jackson, and we'll go with the stick. We'll go with the stick here. Miles Sanders, the backfield, Fulham right out the line of scrimmage. Ertz could get open. I really want to avoid, though, Bobby Wagner. That, that stack of Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams, I kind of want to avoid that. We got him. We got him. Fulham. We got Fulham. Let's go. Get him. Oh, he does, like, the same thing. It's literally, like, shot for shot. We have a driver. Carson Wentz gets 15, 20 yards. Russell Wilson does the same. We have a driver. Wentz. Scrambles way out of the pocket, throws across his body, make a completion, and then the same drive there, Russell Wilson does the exact same thing. Damn it, man. We gotta punish him. Like, the front's doing their job, the back end's not. Shocking. I know. That Philly secondary is kind of the shit. I wanna say that was a slant, but that looked pretty slanty to me. Alright, we'll just rock this man defense. Second and seven on our ten. Would love to have a drive where we don't get a touchdown. And second and seven on the ten. Uh, we, just, we just don't have the personnel to stop DK and Tyler Lockett. Darius Slay can't cover both of them. All right, it's a, shoot <laughs> it's a shootout, man. That's pretty much all of our game so far with Philadelphia. We have to match score for score. There we go. We'll go down uh, to Sean Jackson. It is awesome having him back. The speed, you yeah, notice it right away. Second and 12, maybe slants into Ertz. I got red. Nope. Nope. Bad play. Maybe we can get in the bite that we're doing like the white flag third and 24 run and something could be there, but worst case, I'm not forcing it. I'll, I'll punt it. Ah. Never punt it. Oh my god, am I ever gonna get one of these plays where Fletcher Cox God, that would have been awesome actually if he intercepted that. But every time we're getting that, like, you know. 
destroy the lineman, Russell. It's like it triggers automatically. Russ Wilson just scrambles out of the pocket. And the pressure means and amounts to nothing. Third and nine. We got pressure. Come on, Davion. Fuck. Damn it. Good play. There we go. Finally, my first good cover rep. The entire game coming in the fourth quarter. Excellent. All right, cover. I'm going to drop back coverage again. Davion Taylor, the man of the hour, has yet to make a play here today. Fucking fuck! All right, we got a third inch. Like, we have to blitz. Like, it's almost one of those things. Like, what are you going to do? Slant to one of your great wide receivers for a touchdown? You're going to do that anyway. So we have to pretty much make it so we have a chance at a sack because that's the only way we're stopping them. Oh, he almost broke three tackles, but at least Brandon Graham was able to bring down Chris Carson there. Second and ten. Davion Taylor. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. We need you. Bend, don't break. Bend, but do not break. We got Sean Bradley, the rookie at a temple. Temple tough. Yep, you know. You have DK Metcalf, you might as well slant him in the red zone because he's going to get open 95% of the time. Come back to doing what we do. Let's run the ball. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We can slant two. We can slant two, baby. Jalen Rager. Second and three. Like, should I actually? Oh. We're gonna get. I think we're gonna have a tough question about whether or not actually to go for two if we can get a touchdown here. We gotta get the first down first. Third and one. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, Miles Sanders too quick. No, no, it's too early to go for two. Just be, even if we go for two and we like get it, they still have more than enough time to go down and score. So that's. I'm not worried. Tied it up. Huge run, Miles Sanders. He's been dominant today. Our best skill position player all year long. Go. TFL. Big time TFL. Eaten alive by Fletcher Cox and Davion Taylor. There we go. Pressure there. Applied by Fletcher Cox. Third and long. A, this is as good of a chance as we're going to get. They get off the field. We'll go... Uh, we'll cover three. Something like that. Overloading the scene. Kavon. Oh, we got Davion Taylor on the spy. Davion Taylor on the spy. Oh! Kavon Wallace with the pass breakup. Probably should have been an interception. Three and out. Great job, defense. <gasps> Insane. Insane diving 32 yard catch, Miles Sanders. The run defense is stepping up, though. That you clock on, because want to win. Maybe Fulham can win out the line here. Oh, 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 oh. Throw it away! A real bad sack. Like, now we're pretty much like, can we salvage a field goal here? God damn it. Sean Jackson? Can we get the one to Sean Jackson play? I don't even know if we can kick a field goal. <sighs> what is it? The wind is like a six. I have, let me just see. Do I have the wind with me? Like I'll burn a time. Let's try it. 59 yards, six wind. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, baby! Wait, what? Okay, no, we made it. Okay. Oh, my... Okay. All right. Come on, D. Like, come on. That's huge, though, Jake Elliott. All right, we're playing zone. We're just going to play zone. Worst case scenario, they, they get some chunk yardage and can kick a field goal. But we're not letting DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett or Philip Dorsett, goddamn track team they have here, beat us. Let's keep them in. 
Make him use the clog, make him use your timeouts. No. No! Second to 10 on the 24. Why are we fucking swinging and missing on all these tackles? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. All right. Pray to, pray to God, Jesus boy. We need a win. We need something. We got Deshaun Jackson back. We got all our timeouts too. Like that. Well, you can't, you know, you're not going to win a game when you give Russell Wilson 500 passing yards and five touchdowns. Six touchdowns, five or six. I literally lost count. You know, it's not a fairy tale. Not everything has a happy ending. Went from, you know, the meme, meme division, meme team, whoever won the NFC East to kicking the shit out of the Cardinals. And, you know, all-time classic. An all-time classic divisional game here against Seattle. But the defense is just killing. Crippling. And I guess if there's a silver lining, the fact that we're not picking high, we're probably going to miss on Jamar Chase, is that at least we can probably focus on the secondary. Focus on getting a corner, potentially. Safety. Or we could just say, screw it, and end up getting, like, Devontae Smith or something like that. But all eyes now go to the offseason for Philadelphia. You know, you're not going to win when you give up 466 passing yards, six touchdowns, 75% completion percentage. That's just, that's terrible. That is terrible. And hopefully our new DC, which we'll talk about in the next episode, will come in and be able to help change us, as that is absolutely pathetic. Um, huge game, Miles Sanders. I mean, generally Wentz, I mean, the one interception was, you know, Hail Mary. He played very well. Carson Wentz played very, very well, which is good to see. But Miles Sanders continues to be our best player. Not quiet game from Davion Taylor. I mean, you know, had to have somewhat realistic expectations. He's still a rookie, young player. There's consistency is always going to be an issue. Hot and cold, streaky. It is what it is. Good game for Fletcher Cox, though. But I'm not going to compliment anyone on the defense. That is such a bad, such a bad effort. So here's where we'll bid adieu. Crash another the playoffs, 45-41, a loss to Seattle. I always hate it when you see your practice squad players getting re-signed. Doug Peterson got himself a new contract, a five-year deal. Deserves so. I mean, he was very much on the hot seat when we took this thing over, but commendable effort going on the playoff run, winning the division. Definitely has reaffirmed his job security. Don't know so much about the rest of his positional staff. We may be looking at bringing in a new OC. We definitely have, you know, pretty much just wait for the next episode to announce our defensive coordinator and obviously the general manager. I will be acting as general manager. No more Howie. Goddamn, I'm smartest man in the office. Smartest man in the draft room. That is gone. No more here in Philadelphia. So we will be back probably in a day or so to get into this offseason here with the Philadelphia Eagles. But I don't know. Hopefully at least in a losing effort, you were still thoroughly entertained here today. Having a blast playing this. Gameplay is finally playing somewhat right i mean obviously defensively kind of sucks but i think most people struggle with defense and at least it's you know it's watchable it's watchable and when that is what you can achieve in madden 21 given the state of this game i think that's pretty goddamn good so thank you guys for watching as always your first time stopping by don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button trying to work our way up to 150,000 subscribers sooner than later if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the series if you want to help the channel support the channel all i ask is for some likes if you get a thousand likes on this video that would be very awesome but yes youtube does not like recommending my videos whatsoever which is incredibly unfair and stupid. It doesn't make sense, but they cannot deny my videos in the algorithm when there is a lot of likes because that's what drives the videos to the top of the search pages. So if you did enjoy it, all I'm asking for you guys is a thumbs up and that'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time, it's C4 saying peace.